in June 1907, a devastating incident occurred in Bogwalk. That morning, passengers unknowingly waited at the tram station in Spanish Town and stations on the outskirts of Kingston for transportation to go to work or to go about their business. They waited in vain until they finally realized they would have to find other means of transportation to get to their final destinations. Some hitched rides on horse-drawn carts while others simply walked. Little did they know about the tragedy that stopped tram service from running in the area that day. By 8 a.m., rumors began to swirl throughout Jamaica. Reports were sketchy, but it was said that around 1 a.m., men were cleaning silt and debris inside the enormous 6,200 feet long pipeline when a fatal accident occurred inside it. Relatives and friends gathered anxiously in Bob Walk waiting to hear news if their loved ones were among the dead men who were found inside the pipeline. This pipeline, considered the largest in the world at that time, was used by West India Electric Tramway Company to carry water from the Rio Cobra Dam to the electric power station that provided hydroelectric energy for trams to operate. One man who escaped the accident said that Upon entering the pipeline, there was little water on the ground, but that was expected to help with the cleaning. Also, this was not a bother, since the dam was supposed to be closed off to prevent excessive water from entering the pipeline. However, when water began to rise rapidly, and the supervisor told all to leave immediately, the men appeared to panic, with some even dropping their lanterns. The eyewitness said when he reached outside and then saw water overflowing the manhole, he knew the others would not escape after that. It seemed that 61 workers were inside the pipeline at the time of the accident. 28 workers, including the supervisor, escaped. Reports differ thereafter, but apparently the bodies of three men who tried to escape through the 2 feet 8 inches manhole at the same time became jammed inside it. The three bodies appear to have blocked entry to this nearby exit and prevented the remaining 30 men from escaping. The clawed, cut, mutilated, and trampled bodies of the 33 deceased men were found with torn clothes showing how they fought each other viciously in trying to escape for their lives. West India Electric Tramway Company made offers to the families to assist with church funeral expenses. A news report indicated that it was quite unlikely that any took up that offer since it was the custom to quickly bury the dead 
on properties where they lived. Initially, the general manager of the company and the supervisor on duty were both arrested, charged with manslaughter, and received bail. However, investigations ruled the tragedy an accident, so no one was held responsible for any errors that caused entry of the flood water into the pipeline. The Bogwalk Power Station was closed during the 1930s when the tram car system was replaced by a bus system. But memories of the tragedy remain with deteriorating pipe scrap metal that is symbolic of a once significant structure that became no longer important.